I have finally managed to get my hands on a G3 Instant. These have been sold out for a very long time inside the EU. This is unified solution to a very cheap camera. These come in very aggressively priced at $29 in the US and €25 Euros in the EU. I don't know too much about this camera yet except that it is a Wi-Fi camera so we're going to unbox it and have a look at what comes inside and let's see how it works. One interesting question I do have is whether something like this could work standalone. If it does, this could be a real game changer. Anyway, let's get to it. Okay, so here's the box itself. So it's fairly small uh, in size. So let's quickly open this up. And there we go. So it is a very small camera. Um, that's how it sits in my hand. Uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's, very, it's a lot smaller than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, so it has a USB port, I will assume, on the back, reset button, um, and then the camera at the front. So yeah, not a lot to it. Um, I don't know if there's any mounting options on this, so let's pop that to the side one second. Let's have a look what else is inside the box. So quick start guide, plug it in, download the app, you know what you need to do. Anything Unify related, you generally, it's the same sort of process. So that's all along here and how to mount it on the wall. Okay, so you can use the sticky bit to stick this up against the wall. You put this on here, uh, so you can actually clip that on there. And then there's actually a screw behind this one. So I'll quickly show you this. There's a screw behind here that goes straight into here and then you just screw it in. And then there you go. That can be wall mounted wherever you want. Uh, inside here, uh, you have a fairly lengthy USB cable um, and then you have a plug. So interestingly, thank you Unify, I'm in the UK and you have sent me a European adapter. Wonderful. Uh, so we're going to have to have a look at how we are going to convert this as they have not supplied anything UK based. Wonderful. So. If you're inside the UK and you have one of these cameras, you are going to need some sort of adapter because Unify hasn't sent anything with this one. Uh, be interesting to see how else you could power this up. Could you use solar power so it can sit outside? So the setup's a little bit different on this one. So we're going to go get it plugged in and then we're going to use our phone to get this set up. I actually have a USB power somewhere. So I'm just going to take this off plug the power in here and then how you power it up is just by here. So it says we need to use the Unified Protect app so let's just pop that there for now. Just jumping into the Protect app and you can see the device has been found straight away so it's it's found it we can click add but I'm just going to click cancel for now I'm just going to show you the other way to do it you can just scroll down and you can see add elements and then you scroll down and it's found the camera already so you can just click next and it will connect to it via bluetooth so now it's going to go off and look for the wi-fi networks and what network you want it to join to so just select your network that's the noise from the um, camera that you're probably hearing in the background it does get slightly annoying after a few minutes because it happens there yeah, happens again There we go, that seems to be connecting. That sounds very similar to the Unify Access uh, sounds. There we go, so it has found it. So we click next. So you can give it a name here if you want to give it a name. And there we go, it's as simple as that. Um, we can go into the camera and there's some additional settings here at the top, which we can choose to look at, but I'm not going to have a look at these just yet. Um, I'm actually going to jump onto the computer and see what we can do from there. So there's resolutions when recording, recording quality, infrared. You can adjust the picture quality if you want the microphone on, camera sounds, the record light, and you've got your motion zones and privacy zones, manage and unmanage. So let's jump into the web interface and let's see what we can do from there. Okay, so let's jump into Protects now. Um, so we've already set the camera up here. We can go to cameras. We can see it's the only one I've got here at the moment. Um, so it lists down the IP, etc, etc. We can have a quick look at that. Um, we will actually come back to this shortly. Let's go back to here. 
um, general. So like I said, this shows you pretty much similar to what you saw inside the app. So the sound status, status lights, you can adjust the picture quality. You can put an overlay information such as the time, camera name, um, and logo if you want. So that's quite cool. Um, and you can rename it here also as well. The recording, currently the recording is disabled purely because I don't have a drive in there at the moment, so it's disabled. Um, the zones, you can add in motion zones, so if you want to pick up zones for a specific area, you can do that. And same with the privacy zones, what this allows you to do where it basically doesn't record in a specific area. So if you're overlooking somewhere at, for example, a neighbor's boundary, you can actually remove that zone from being recorded completely. And last thing on the other side, you can do this um, just as the other, other cameras, you can reboot, unmanage, set up an RSTP feed um, for anything else you want to do. And if you want to disable the microphone, you can do that here as well. So there's not too much difference in terms of logging onto the camera directly. You can just type in UBNT and the password you actually get from, if you go to settings and advanced, there's a device password here. You can use this password to log in. So um, just click reveal and that will give you the password. Okay. And then you go back and go to here and you click paste. And yes, it's a fairly lengthy password. You log in. And there you go, it show you the camera as well. So it's not pointing to anywhere specific at the moment, but, and you can go through and change stuff here. So it looks like this still needs to be configured through the Protect app. It's not something that could be set up standalone. So you still need to go through the motions of having Protect installed, which is no problem. But the camera itself is relatively cheap. Um, I'm going to do another video on this and if you are interested in seeing this one let me know so I'm going to do a quick comparison for images against the G3 uh, Instant against the G3 Flex to see how we are during the day and night and see what the sort of image difference is from there. If you're interested in that or if you want to see something like that let me know in the comments below um, whether it is worth spending the extra 50 or 60 euros, dollars, pounds, whatever you're spending in to get the G3 Flex or not. I hope you found this video useful. Again, don't forget to subscribe if you are new here. Hit the like button if you have found this video useful and also leave me a comment in the section below. The links to the products are in the description below, so feel free to check them out. They are linked to my Amazon affiliate and if you do use it, it does help me out. For now, this is Inside Wire and I'll see you in the next one.